that no licensed surveyor will demarcate or survey any state land or land acquired by the state government without the prior consent in writing of the Soviet general and after the payment of the prescribed fee. But on the August the 2nd judgment, Justice Daniel Osiagor of the Federal High Court Lagos held that the Soviet Council of Nigeria, who's the second defendant in the case, is the only body vested with the powers to regulate survey practice throughout the country, and that the Soviet general of Lagos who is the first defendant, is bound to follow and apply the council's guidelines of the year 2020 for the conduct of the survey practice. All plans to be used for traffic documentation must not be signed by the state of the general because they are a paid employment. Survey fees are professional fees which are exclusively meant for the private practices of yours and not to the state of the general or the state government account. SOCON as a body is a federal government agency under the Federal Ministry of Works empowered by the Constitution of Nigeria for the control of survey in Nigeria. So the power that SOCON has is the delegated power by the federal government under the presidency. So SOCON does not have the statutory rights or constitutional rights to delegate power to states at this committee in controlling of surveying in Nigeria. The surveyors said to be about 600 in number practicing in Lagos out of a total of 5,000 in the country say the letter to the state government on August the 30th is yet to receive any response. We want the state government to obey the court judgment and desist from controlling survey practice in the state. The government survey are being paid. They don't have the right to practice again to the government employment. Their own is to do the government work and not to interfere with the practices of here. Though the court also dismissed the state's preliminary objection, challenging its jurisdiction to hear the matter, the Lagos Ministry of Justice says it has now filed an appeal against the judgment. Kemi Folade Emo, TVC News, Lagos.